Hey everybody, it's Party Elite, and today we're checking out King's Orders, an extremely fresh take on the grand strategy genre that I've been looking forward to ever since it was first revealed. I had an absolute blast playing this game during Steam Next Fest, and it's just so unique in its approach that I knew I had to showcase it on the channel. If you like what you see here today, folks, please don't hesitate to wishlist the game for yourself, as that's a great way to not only stay up to date with the game's dev cycle, but also to show some love and support for independent developers especially. Beyond that, if you'd like to stay up to date with more fresh strategy, sim, city building, and management style games, you might want to subscribe to this channel, as that's a core part of what I do around these parts. With that said, and with no more time to waste, let's go ahead and dive into a new game of King's Orders. Now, this is a demo build, so we only have access to the Hundred Years War. In the final build of the game, there will be quite a few more campaigns that we can play in, and beyond that, there will be quite a few more factions for each of those campaigns to play as as well. For the Hundred Years War right now, we can only play as England or France, and both of them, of course, have their own sets of objectives. France, for example, wants to see the fall of England, and they want control over a handful of regions, while England wants to see the fall of France and control over a handful of different regions. So, for this showcase, I say we play as France because they're a bit more overwhelming to play. So, though we're more likely to actually lose, we are also more likely to see more mechanics and functionalities in a more condensed time period. So, I think despite the uh, the challenge of playing as France here, uh, it'll just help showcase the game that much better. So, with France selected, let's go ahead and dive in to the Hundred Years' War. Now, right off the bat, things might seem somewhat familiar. There's a lot of familiar elements for sure. I mean, we're looking at, uh, you know, an economy to, to, to manage. We're looking at a timeline, you know, your speed adjustment. You've got your objectives. You've got your provinces all subdivided into various cities and stuff. You've got little tokens that represent your armies, your uh, uh, spies, your, your cities, your capitals, all that good stuff. You know, if we click in as well, we can see our troop counts. We can see our tax rates and growth rates and uh, your, your, your manpower, regional trade commodities, all that good stuff. You can see weather conditions that might have an impact on battles and things like that. You've even got access to what buildings are or are not built, which ones need upgrading, how much they cost, so on and so forth. Again, extremely, extremely familiar elements. So what actually makes this game stand out? Well, it's all functioning around the core concept of communication, I suppose is the best way to put it. Anytime you want to do absolutely anything you have to give orders, but these orders aren't given like your regular grand strategy game where you just select, let's say, Poitiers and say, I want you to build an armorer's workshop, click, done, no. You have to select Poitiers, you have to write them a literal missive, you have to write them a letter to give them their orders, because folks, this is not the time of emails or the telegraph or anything like that, you have to actually tell them what to do. And uh, let's go ahead and actually tell them, yes, to build a military building, let's get them building the uh, armor's workshop, because this will allow us to recruit up to a thousand heavy units at the same time, which is probably not a bad idea to have access to more high-quality troops. And let's make sure they are, in fact, building it, as opposed to trying to upgrade or repair something that doesn't exist. Giving the wrong order is possible, and it will cause you trouble, because uh, it's the result of a lack of communication. So... Go ahead and build that uh, armorer's workshop, and at the same time, we should perhaps consider uh, increasing their tax rate, because I saw it's very low right now, which I suppose it doesn't make people happier, but it has a reduced impact on their uh, negative happiness change, I suppose. Uh, but, but, but we collect so little money. If we get the tax rate higher up to maybe lower or medium, we might be in a better position. So why don't we say set taxes to uh, low. Let's go with low, and uh, we'll wait for some of it to accumulate before we actually send someone to collect taxes. Because yes, our economy doesn't just magically grow, money doesn't just magically arrive. We have to specifically say it's time to collect taxes. Uh, your, 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 your regent demands, your sovereign demands those taxes, bring them over. And they don't just magically appear either. You send the message out and you have to wait for a response. So for the time being, why don't we uh, ask for a status report as well? A thorough report on the current state of affairs in the region, inform on the conditions of citizens, issues related to the army, financial and trading situation, functioning of the local infrastructure and other administrative matters. Without these kinds of reports, we won't actually know what's truly going on in the region. Uh, for example, if the population situation is different, if the... Uh, a regional trade commodity has changed, not that I'm sure that can actually happen, but let's say that's changed, we won't know until we've received a report. Everything is about communication, 
and the lack thereof. So I've, I've decided to send that missive. Let's get time moving forward. And you'll actually see that letter travel through the lands to Poitiers. And then you'll see a response come through. I don't actually know what happened to that letter until the response comes through and we can see. Here we go. We have started the construction of the Armorer's Workshop. The works should last until 3rd of October, 1337, and cost 820 gold. The expansion of the regional infrastructure will certainly have a positive impact on the development. Excellent. Low taxes have been set in the region. Hopefully it will help improve the public mood. I mean, taxes just went up, so I don't think so. And we hereby present a report on the condition of the region of Poitiers. According to our census, X people live in the region. This indicates an upward trend in terms of the population. Citizens constantly assure us about their great satisfaction with life in our region. In consonance with our polls, the public mood is improving. So that tells me that, uh, you know, this is still a, 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 an uptick. That tells me that we are, uh, we shouldn't be concerned about, uh, you know, rebellion anytime soon. Uh, the defenses of the region's capital at the moment is as follows. So we've got our troop count over here outlined as well. On the financial side, we report that the region's treasury is currently empty. So that's consistent with the information we already have. At this point, the region generates an income of such and such per month. And the trade good is uh, is fish. We're aware of that. Cool. So nonetheless, as you can see, we get a detailed report with regards to the current circumstances, including that recent order we give or we gave rather about building the armorer's workshop. Right. So uh, in, in in many cases, the details you have are not up to date, and you'll want to send a uh, request for a status report to get up to date information. Uh, as an example, let's take a look at uh, this region over here. Dijon in Burgundy, we know nothing. It's, you know, foreign lands, so it makes sense that we start with not knowing anything. We have literally no information. In order to get some information, we should maybe tell our spy over here, Antoinette de Monnielet, to uh, go in and observe this glorious city of uh, Dijon, paying special attention to their numbers and commanders. And uh, I wonder, I wonder if we shouldn't infiltrated beyond just our initial observations uh, to get a, a comprehensive and accurate report on the state of affairs in the region. Gather all information regarding the people, especially their happiness and valor. You know, maybe we want to try and uh, get some dissent going and, and we should find a softened target for that. Or maybe we should just know where it's not worth pursuing. We should also take a look at the number of troops in the city, their finance, taxation and trade situation, and the condition of the local infrastructure, as well as uh, the authorities of the uh, spied lands. So let's get Antoinette de Monnier doing that. Hopefully they won't get uh, caught because that is a possibility. And at the same time, we have Joan of Arc over here, our only general for the time being, if I'm not mistaken, who should probably prepare to uh, make some moves. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm actually gonna get uh, Joan of Arc moving down to uh, here so that we can get aggressive against the English to uh, kick things off because I feel like that's good French tradition, right? So let's move the general down to here. We won't change her pace or anything like that, but I will want to uh, get a status report just to make sure we are up to date with regards to the units that she's actually fielding. So let's send that request. And uh, while that's happening, we are paused right now, but while that's happening, I also want to make sure that uh, we are sending some troops to supplement Joan of Arc's current army. She's got a decent decent number of troops across the board, uh, but it doesn't hurt to have more, especially if she's going on a sort of long term offensive, right? So let's uh, head on over to Dorian over here and give them an order to send units, half of all types of units over to Joan of Arc. And uh, let's get we get a status report Do order them to build something as well. Why don't we take a look at uh, some of the building options? Actually, I know the armor's workshop allows us to recruit heavy uh, heavy units, heavy infantry, I assume. Uh, it looks like cavalry as well. So that's a good thing to have on hand. We have the smithy to help recruit infantry. Okay, we've got uh, moat to help with defenses, of course. Mines to help with tax income. Defensive walls to help with defenses as well. Farms to help with population growth. We have here a bowmaker's workshop to help recruit archers. We've got an inn to help with happiness. Uh, what is this? Barracks to help recruit spearmen, which we are actually lacking in... Uh, Joan of Arc's army. It'll only take 60 days to build. Costs 400 gold. That's affordable. We should perhaps consider that. Militia post to help uh, bring peasants together. The church here will improve happiness so we can tax a bit more uh, freely. We have here a bank to help with tax income. Marketplaces to help with trade income and happiness. Uh, we have a city hall for tax income and trade income. Stables for uh, cavalry recruitment. And a port for trade income increase as well. 
If we take a look at the uh, financial situation over here, this I believe is our overall income accumulated from everything, base taxes, base trade, and army costs. So trade over here actually makes a ton of money. So perhaps we should consider building the uh, improved port or the marketplace, improved trade income and improved happiness. So sure, let's go ahead and build an economic building here, the marketplace, please make sure you build it. There's nothing to upgrade or repair. Don't want to give the wrong order. And uh, yes, let's send that missive over. So that's Touraine done. Le Man, Le Mans, Le Main, Le Man. I'm going to butcher some of these pronunciations. I'll try my best, but uh, I haven't I haven't had to be involved in, uh, in speaking French constantly in a very long time. Let's ask them to send half of all their units. Again, we can see these guys are all managed separately, but send half of your units over to Joan of Arc, please. Send that missive over, and let's maybe get some units moving from uh, Poitiers as well. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's get half of all of your units sent to Joan of Arc as well. Cool. Send all those missives out at the same time, and separately we'll eventually want to recruit an additional general to help hold the north. Perhaps we should do that right now. We can recruit generals, we can also recruit spies. Uh, but yes, I think a general is more uh, more pressing of a matter. And obviously their uh, salaries and recruitment costs are different based on their overall skills. And all of these things will have an impact on their capabilities in combat, on uh, on their happiness, their loyalty, things like that. So you, you do need to keep in mind their actual stats. Am I willing to spend this much money on Comtesse Blanche de Grasse? Why not? Three-star general? Sure. Let's try it. Let's recruit you. And there's our new general having arrived. Let's get some troops sent to you as well from Picardy. You can see Cat. I would like to take Cali sooner rather than later. Maybe we'll get a spy in there as well. In fact, let's go ahead and recruit a fresh spy. I uh, don't want to spend too much on them. Let's get Comte Arnaud. Get you in there, buddy. And where are you? There you are. Let's go ahead and tell them to uh, infiltrate Cali. Can you not? Must we go up there? Hmm. Don't want to know about London. I want to know about, uh... LA. No. Hmm. Won't let me. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Observe. There we go. Okay, that's what I thought. Fair enough. Let's cancel that message then. And make sure we send the right orders. Can't, 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 uh, try to get all the way to London and end up caught. That would not be ideal. Let's get you observing. This is something that I would, uh... I wouldn't mind seeing changed, or it's just a matter of building good habits. Observe and infiltrate are two different things available for different types of locations. But yes, observe the troops gathered here, and uh, we could consider demoralizing them after we actually see what they've got. So send Guillaume over, and uh, let's go ahead and get some troops into this second army of ours, right? So let's get uh, some troops over here. Half of everything you have sent down to Buddy. General Adelaide de Cardillac, that's not the name I recall. But maybe I'm simply mistaken. Let's send these troops over. I don't want to overdo our construction and stuff either, right? Because we do have to keep an eye on our uh, <laughs> coffers. So let's get those troops moving. Let's get some troops moving from Juan as well. Uh, let's get, uh, again, let's just get half of everything sent over to this general. And uh, no taxes to collect or anything. All right, cool. Send all these letters out. This will be like a huge spread to kick things off, but uh, I think that's probably a good idea. We do have more regions down south over here as well, but these guys can hold tight. We want to make sure some troops are left behind uh, in the uh, in the actual cities. Should the English get aggressive, you don't want to leave uh, you know openings for them to take advantage of. But yes, let's have time actually move forward now and see all these letters go out and see what kind of reports we get back. So off they go. And, uh, oh, look, it's just, I don't know, there's something quite charming about seeing these uh, messages go about. And do keep in mind that you can intercept messages, too, and learn what the enemy is getting up to based on, uh, based on what you've intercepted. Did we lose both of our spies? Hang on a second, hang on a second. Yep, Antoinette, I've been detected by the authorities of the city of Dijon during an observation operation carried out in these lands. Unfortunately, prior to my arrest, I was unable to obtain any information about the local military. Fantastic, and what about our, uh, our, whoops, our other spy? I think we lost them too. Yep, Comte Guillaume, I have been detected by the authorities of Calais. Excellent. Weren't able to find anything? Beautiful. Love it. Absolutely love it. Separately, we have reinforcements arriving from all these cities. Let's go ahead and remove those. We know they've successfully made it over, so that's great to see. Good stuff. There's the marketplace construction that's begun. It'll be completed by October of this year. So that's two buildings that'll be finished by October of this year. Good stuff. 
Uh, more troops being sent over. Excellent. Let's go ahead and remove all these old messages because they, they will become overwhelming very quickly. Let's actually hire a decently skilled spy instead, then recruit you. And uh, let's tell you now to go in and observe Calais. And, and hopefully we'll see some success over here because I would like to just know for sure we can uh, overwhelm them. I'm fairly confident that uh, we'll be able to crush them, but I'd like to show the mechanic in action as well. But yeah, as you can see, uh, money is kind of growing tight as well. We should definitely keep an eye on treasuries. Though again, we won't get updates until we uh, we send a request. So let, let's try this. Let's send a request for a status report. We could ask for recurring reports as well, but I just want a singular status report over here as our spy seems to have successfully uh, infiltrated Calais up over there. And you can see... Maybe you noticed this number has changed, letting us know how many taxes and what's in the treasury in general uh, for us to now collect. And, and, and that's how information changes over time and updates over time. And that's why you need to actually ask for reports. You're not just magically told what's going on. I, I love I love the focus on that uh, uh, on that back and forth. And again, many games obviously are obfuscating that it's happening behind the scenes so to speak but because that's a focus of this game that, that's sort of the the, the the what makes it so unique but yes let's go ahead and collect taxes from the region then and at the same time let's take a look at the report from our spy up over here uh, again you can categorize these to make sure you're only seeing what you want to see but uh there we go Comte Olivier I have made a careful observation of Calais I'm submitting a report on the city's military issues According to my estimates, the city's defense at the moment is as follows. 90 peasants, 200 spearmen, 200 archers, 90 infantry, 90 heavy infantry, and 200 light cavalry. Currently, heavy rains are falling in this part of the country. So, let's take a look at Calais once more, and you can now see approximations of their troop count. Again, we're not 100% sure, but, you know, around these numbers, give or take. And we can see that we have a spy in the city, and we can also see that it's still raining in this part of the world. And you can see the impact that has on various uh, units, specifically for the attacker. Uh, different things will have different effects on uh, defense or attack. For example, the presence of rivers will make it a little bit easier to overwhelm their defenders. So uh, you have to take some of those modifiers into consideration. Now, these are not small numbers. Let's take a look at our army over here. 210, 140... 77, 70, 140. Hmm. Probably want a few more troops in this army before we send them up. We 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 outnumber their peasants, which is great, but uh, I'm gonna say that's probably not good enough. Probably not going to give us the success that we desire. So should I send additional troops from? Uh, yeah, you know what? I, I think some of these guys could afford to uh, sacrifice some of their troops. What what are the chances the English actually show up over here? Um, famous last words, I know. What are the, yeah, exactly those. What are the chances the English actually show up here? Let's get uh, Alençon over here, sending all of their troops, huge risk, over to this army up top. And uh, then we'll send the general up there to actually take Calais. I think that makes sense. And let's also hmm, get some taxes coming through. I'm sure there's plenty to collect across the board. Uh, collect taxes, please and thank you. Up over here as well should be able to collect taxes. Now, what I'm not sure about is uh, if we actually need a status update before we can collect taxes. No, we do not need a status update before we collect taxes. Those numbers have been creeping upwards, right? If we take a look over here, taxes of X have been collected, taxes of Y have been collected. Okay, excellent, excellent. Joan of Arc has relocated, excellent. And uh, reinforcements have arrived. All right, so take a look at our numbers over here. That looks much, much better. And again, these numbers are now out of date. They could be wrong, right? We do have a spy currently there actively, so I don't know if they're giving us active reports or not. I do believe that is a separate order. Report status, recurring reports. Uh, so there, 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 there are, uh, there's a chance that this information is out of date. But I'm comfortable enough, I think, sending an attack order over here. Let's get you to move up to Calais, and let's make sure we take it over. We're not plundering, we're not raiding, nothing like that. Take the necessary military action to take over the city of Calais. It is in our interest to rapidly expand our influence in the Picardy region. Let's go ahead and send that missive over. Meanwhile, Joan of Arc, you are... I thought I ordered you to go even further down south. Am I mistaken there? Maybe it's just taking longer than I expected. Let's go ahead and delete all these messages. And it's kind of interesting, we haven't intercepted anything yet. The last time I was experimenting playing as France, right at the beginning of the game, I had like 
20 or so messages from just pure interceptions. Nonetheless, let's go ahead and uh, collect some more taxes. Money is feeling kind of tight. I know that number doesn't look so small, but it can very quickly disappear on you. Collect taxes. Yes, please. Let's uh, find more places to collect taxes from down over here. I do believe we, we didn't collect from here already. Collect taxes. And again, because tax rates are pretty much low or very low across the board, when money does come in, it doesn't come in in such great numbers. So I don't want to uh, rest on my financial laurels, so to speak. Collect taxes over here as well. Thank you very much. Uh, and up over here, I believe we need to collect taxes too. Bring some of that money in. Excellent. And I might want to consider increasing tax rates. So everyone's got 100% happiness except for the region where we uh, increase tax rates, right? Because these guys are at low right now, and that's causing a negative 5% change in level of happiness per month. So something to consider is actually changing their tax rate back down to very low in maybe a handful of months when it's a, a bit more of a worrying situation. Let's let time move forward and uh, let's see some of these military actions take place as I think we're good to actually send our uh, spy over here to observe the situation uh, down over here in uh, in Saint, 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 Saint and observe the situation over here afterwards as well at uh, Limoges. Yeah, sounds good. Just give us some, some updates. You, you can give multiple orders at a time. And let's take a look at the taxes coming through. Yeah, looking okay. Not amazing. And again, it's been a few months and it's not all that much money. But uh, all good, all good, all good. All good. Yeah, Spy is moving around. Excellent. Let's go ahead and close all these. And uh, let's see what happens with our military movement over here. And again, it's not happening in real time. We're getting updates to their location over the course of multiple months, weeks, whatever it might be, right? Uh, it's not it's not instantaneous. And I, I, I do love that. I do love that. And you never know if a messenger has been intercepted and an order isn't actually going through, right? Like if 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 some like and, and that movement just happened because a messenger was sent over, and uh, we can actually take a look either by clicking on this little token over here or by opening up our report, so we can take a look at what happened uh, in the in the battle between our troops and the English army of General Margaret Armstrong. Now this is a five page report. I don't think I'm going to read all of it, but I want to highlight certain parts of it because uh, they're all battle reports are fairly long. They're between three and like eight pages, I think is the longest one I've seen. And they detail which forces were present, what the weather conditions were, how things played out, and what the end result was as well. So, you know, you can kind of, it's a lot of theater of the mind going on, but let's, let's take a quick look over here uh, to see what went down exactly. So the clash was a result of our attempt to take control of the city of Calais. Our forces consisted of 385 peasants, 257 archers, 128 infantry, 128 heavy infantry, 128 light cavalry, and 257 heavy cavalry. Whereas the enemy gathered forces in the form of 87 peasants, 175 spearmen. I do believe these numbers are different from what our spy uh, previously saw, right? These numbers feel a little different, uh, but we have their numbers. The, that day we had to fight in the street squares and narrow corners of the unlucky city. That it was hot, muggy, and stifling. I will now focus on the description of the battle itself, trying to reflect its course as accurately as possible, he says. Our archers raised an audacious yell and aimed at spearmen. Not one of our opponents has survived. The enemy archers showered our archers with a hail of arrows. The losses that were inflicted on us were average. I pushed the peasant masses to attack the light cavalry. This great maneuver crushed the opponent. The opponent managed to achieve little. A concentrated mass of the enemy light cavalry, probably hoping to disperse our ranks, moved at our light cavalry. Hostile actions did not bring much effect. We managed to kill all enemies. I ordered our archers to engage the enemy peasants. They all perished at our hands. Enemy ranks of light infantry attacked our brave peasants. Many of our soldiers died, fortunately not enough to shake our formation. A great many enemies fell at the hands of our soldiers. The tight ranks of our magnificent heavy infantry moved across the battlefield straight towards the enemy infantry. The defeat and massacre of hostile forces was total. Fortunately, the response of our enemies did not cause great losses. Hardly any of our people died. The enemy's shooters, grouped in great numbers, attacked our archers. Our troops were decimated, and the survivors fled. Oh, oh no. The mounted knights at my disposal, having determined to serve you, my lord, with their courage, struck the enemy archers without hesitation. I don't remember a battle where every single enemy would die to our steel. And that's what happened this time. Here and there a single man fell, but our ranks remained essentially intact. The enemy heavy infantry moved in a slow, steady march to attack our peasants. The fight was short and not too fierce. The enemy suffered very average losses. At my signal, the heavy infantry, having raised a song of encouragement, began to march to battle against the heavy infantry of our opponent. Only a few of the enemies managed to save their lives. 
The enemy responded with blow after blow, but probably more by nature than by zeal. They accomplished very little. The enemy's foot knights moved at our heavy cavalry. Only a handful of our people have fallen victim to the enemies. Not one of our enemies survived, and their banners fell into our hands. We struggled to hold the battlefield, and despite the adversities that befell us, it can be said that we won. I hasten to inform you that 195 peasants, 214 archers, 3 heavy infantry, 8 light cavalry, and 2 heavy cavalry have died. We managed to kill the enemy general, Margaret Armstrong, who fought bravely until the very end. We managed to take control of the city of Calais, Montes Adelaide de Cardillac, general of the French army. Beautiful stuff. I love it. I love that it's so like detailed a report and you kind of get an idea of your, you know, losses, your, your, your ending troop count and what happened to the enemy as well. It's just good stuff. I don't know. I'm a big fan. Now, I don't think I'd read through every single report, but you know, some of the major battles, for example, would be quite uh, entertaining to read through, I think. Uh, nonetheless, Joan of Arc, what are your numbers looking like? Quite numerous, eh? And I do believe our spy has succeeded in these careful opera uh, observations, sorry. 90 peasants, 200 spearmen. Uh, anyways, we can we can see the numbers by actually clicking on the uh, settlements themselves. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> 90, 200, 300, 80, 90, 200. Oh. I mean, we outnumber them pretty much in every category. But I wonder if we shouldn't wait for some more troops to arrive. We can get some uh, some soldiers from Bourges. I, in fact, let's go ahead and get uh, all of the troops from uh, from Bourges to Joan of Arc. Make her army, I think, a bit more expensive, but I think it's uh, worth doing. Yes. Send them over. And, and once they arrive, we'll get uh, Joan of Arc to actually attack down over here. I'm glad we pushed the English out of, uh, of the north, but uh, they look like they're making some moves down over here. So reinforcements have arrived. We have an approximate idea of what they have on hand, but let's see if we can't have that on our hand instead. Let's offer them a, a decent sum of money, 5k, and, uh, and see if they aren't willing to join us rather than fight us. I am writing to you, General Robert III d'Artois, to offer you a position in the service of my state. What is more, to convince you and your loyal troops of the profitability of joining our side, I am sending you a gift of 5,000 gold. I hope it will be enough to change your perspective. Signed, your king. A little presumptuous, I suppose, but uh, let's go for it. And uh, again, enemy like troop positioning and stuff updates over time. So if I tell Joan of Arc to attack over here, by the time she actually gets there, their troops might be there as well and, and, and we might be in a bit of trouble, right? So it's uh, a lot of moving parts and it uh, looks like this guy is moving in our favor instead now. Good stuff. Good stuff. He, he, he's, he's joined us. Excellent. Where, where, where are we? So Robert III d'Artois, I greatly appreciate your kind and generous offer. You have succeeded in convincing me to join your side. Now I will head towards my new capital, where I'll put myself and my troops at your full disposal. Excellent. So he's going to start moving back towards us, but Joan of Arc, let's get you uh, moving down towards uh, the English over here. Let's get uh, an attack order to strike over here to take over. And immediately afterwards, let's get an attack order to strike over here as well to uh, take over. Yeah, sounds good to me. Send that missive, and let's get our spy observing this region next just to make sure it's actually ready for us to hit it and let's go ahead and collect some taxes as well i do believe some should be ready to collect so uh let's go ahead and and bring some taxes in from poitiers send that over let's bring some taxes in from uh, Dorraine as well please and thank you and let's try and collect some taxes from normandy in fact i don't think we ever did might have uh, missed normandy previously but it, it all stockpiles. It all stockpiles. Collect these taxes, please, and thank you. Uh, Picardy, yes, please. Collect away. And where else? Where else? How about down south over here? From uh, Occitania. Occitania? Occitania? I never know if it's hard or soft. Nonetheless, I will collect your taxes, however it might be pronounced. And uh, hopefully that'll provide us with a fair bit of change with which we can uh, continue our operations, right? All these missives are going. Yeah, good stuff. So that's... Where are you headed? Oh, trying to collect taxes. Traveling right through enemy lands. That's very dangerous because if they do get intercepted, well, they, they get intercepted. You, you don't get what you uh, what you need. But hopefully we'll see a decent change in our overall financial situation. Take a look at some of these missives. 
Uh, Bordeaux has been observed. They have quite a few troops over here, but I think we should be able to overcome them. Uh, quite a few taxes have been collected. And oh, hey, look at that. This bloodstain implies an intercepted message. To the steward of Aquitaine, inform about the current conditions of the city of Bordeaux. Pay close attention to the military issues related to the general security of our lands. So the English king is not going to get this uh, update. And, and not just that, but the steward of Aquitaine is not actually going to receive this request to begin with. Uh, because it's been intercepted. And the same thing can happen to us as well. Uh, very cool stuff. Now, lots of taxes have been collected, but I don't feel like it's made much of a dent, which uh, concerns me a little bit. Nonetheless, let's get rid of all of these messages so we don't have a ridiculous uh, backlog forming because it, it can get very, 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 very overwhelming if it does. Uh, but separately as well, I just want to see, Poitiers, do you have... that we're still building, eh? ends in October, right? We gotta wait until October of this year, so it's still a ways away as Joan of Arc is making some moves. Let's get our, uh... Hang on a second. I thought Joan of Arc was ordered to attack. Maybe she's still making her way over. We'll keep an eye out for it. We do have a report coming through. Curious what that is. That is Joan of Arc moving down. Okay, cool. And when is this general actually going to return to us? Or are they not? If not, that's fine by me. Looks like they are coming back. Yeah, there we go. Cool. And we have a report coming in from Joan of Arc. And you'll see as soon as that messenger arrives, we'll get an update on the situation down over here. And it's another glorious victory. Another five-page report. We can see the overall numbers. And uh, we should also be able to see very quickly at the end here. Uh, our troops managed to kill the leader of the hostile forces. But our losses were... What's the situation over here? Hardly any of our people died. Our victory was as certain as a sunrise. After the battle, we could not count 51 peasants, 37 infantry, 54 heavy infantry, 26 light cavalry, and 25 heavy cavalry. So, not significant losses. So, uh, again, you know, you don't have to actually read through the whole report, although it can be quite fun because it's quite nicely written. Now, I, I could have sworn I told you to make two attacks. Did you ignore one order, or, or was there some uh, issue because we already had a general there? I'm not sure. Previously, when I was testing this game out, you could string multiple orders together. So just a little curious as to what happened there. Let's get Joan of Arc uh, attacking here. You take over, please. Send you off. And uh, let's keep an eye on our uh, financial situation as well. It's kind of tight. Kind of tight. We started at about 30k gold. We're at 11k now. Not a very comfortable position to be in. Maybe we'll wait until... Uh, October and, and collect some more taxes at that point in time. And I'll feel better about that. Speed time up a little bit while keeping an eye on the actual circumstances as I believe Joan of Arc is slowly making her way over. Oh, that's very tight actually. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> that's not good. Okay, let's, uh, let's, let's start collecting some taxes over here. Pause for a moment so time doesn't get ahead of me. And uh, collect taxes, send you over. Over here. We're going to uh, collect taxes, but also set taxes to medium. Going to upset some people, but uh, money's getting kind of tight. We have two massive armies that we're managing. So I've definitely overdone it. But uh, again, this is just a showcase, right? Set taxes to medium over here as well. On that note out, up over here, let's go ahead and uh, collect taxes and set taxes to medium. And uh, do we need to collect taxes from Ile de France as well? Or is that normally, like, naturally collected? I, I imagine we have to make the demand. Well, let's send that order out. Let's not change tax rates over there. At Blois, let's go ahead and collect taxes and set taxes to medium too. Cool, so that next month we'll make a, a more sizable chunk. Uh, down over here... Can I... Hmm. Unless I hold a capital, I guess I can't uh, ask for taxes, eh? Fair enough. I don't think I asked to lose. Let's go ahead and... Collect taxes and set taxes to medium. The entire country will go up in flames at the same time. Sounds like a good time. Send that missive and uh, wait to hear back as Joan of Arc is making some moves of her own as well. Letters going out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, there we go. Money's coming through. Feels a lot better. <laughs> that feels a lot better. Maybe I shouldn't have set all the tax rates to medium. Maybe the next time we go to collect taxes, we'll uh, we'll set them to, uh, to low again. But Joan of Arc seems to have... Uh, Gained a glorious victory over here. Is she good to move down to here? Sizable forces. Sizable forces. Not more numerous than ours, though. I mean, look at that heavy cavalry count that we have. 500 plus. I think Bordeaux is ready for the taking. Hmm. 
they have more heavy infantry than us. No, we have 222, they have 200. They have 100 infantry, we have 240. We have 540 archers, they have 400. So we do outnumber them, but not, not all that significantly. This general has been kind of chilling up over here for a very long time, operating on a sort of de defensively. I could dismiss them. I could dismiss them entirely. Uh, they're they're expensive. They're not too expensive, but they are pricey. 722 compared to the 332 of Joan of Arc. Nonetheless, let's let's uh, let's keep things as they are for the time being. Though we'll get Joan of Arc attacking after we take a look at some of these missives. 620 gold, 595 gold, 824 gold. Good stuff. Oh, Joan of Arc. There must have been a misunderstanding. There is no need to take over Saint because the city is already under our control. I think she did, in fact do both of those orders, but maybe the report didn't come back to us, maybe it got intercepted, and that's why we didn't see the map change. So we wasted some time sending Joan of Arc to take something that was already under our control, but we didn't know it because we didn't get that missive. Maybe that's what happened, maybe I missed something else, but uh, either way, I know it's a possibility to, 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 to have your missives intercepted, as uh, quite a few taxes have come in from Picardy, Blois, and Normandy alike. Good stuff. Robert... D'Artois, are you worth, uh, ooh, actually, you know, you, you do have significant numbers. You do have significant numbers, okay. Okay, fair enough. I might, uh, might consider moving him in somewhere else as well. A Aquitaine over here. Bayonne is the capital. Uh, we should perhaps consider taking a bit of a risk and, uh, and, and observing the conditions here. Maybe, uh, you know, uh, 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 sabotage their defensive walls or something. But first, let's get an idea of their numbers so we can plan our offensive over there as uh, I believe Joan of Arc should be able to now attack down over here. I think our numbers are okay. Take over, please and thank you, and expand our, uh, our presence in the south of France as it should be the south of France. Thank you very much. Separately, we'll want to expand into Burgundy as well. We'll take a look at their numbers and stuff, but it would be oh so nice to get rid of the English first, I think. See what our uh, reports here have to say. Keep an eye on our uh, financial situation as well. And at the same time, let's keep in mind that uh, we should, at Poitiers, have the Armorer's Workshop built. So we are now able to recruit up to a thousand heavy units at the same time. Why don't we then request that recruitment? Uh, recruit, let's say, heavy infantry. Let's go with a thousand. Submit that request. And uh, what are your taxes set to right now? Low. Just because they took a bit of a hit to happiness already. Uh, I could get them building a church as well. Again, churches help with happiness, so maybe chasing after that isn't such a bad idea. Uh, yes, let's go ahead and build. I believe it falls under the economy. Church. Go for it. Build it. Send that missive. And let's uh, hope that works out nicely. As Joan of Arc is pushing down, and we see another glorious victory over here. A six-page report this time. Uh, and you can see, along with the first gusts of the wind, we heard the sounds of enemy horns. The battle was approaching. I love some of the writing. I love some of the writing. Um, good stuff, good stuff. The peasants seem to be doing a lot, actually. The mounted knights at my disposal have been determined to serve you, etc., etc. Attack without hesitation. We managed to take control of the city of Bordeaux. As a result of the battles, the barracks was damaged. That's unfortunate. It looks like the commander of the enemy army... Uh, is dead. Managed to take her life personally. Pretty baller move. Uh, do we have a troop count over here? The enemy's attack collapsed and we won a complete victory. We have suffered losses of 220 archers, 186 infantry, 90 light cavalry, and 27 heavy cavalry. So, a pretty expensive uh, engagement, all things considered, but victory is ours. Good stuff. Let's uh, take a look at our uh, careful observation of Bayonne as well. They have, what, 100 peasants, 200 spearmen, 300 archers, 100 infantry, 100 heavy infantry, and 200 light cavalry. How does that compare to our numbers? We have significantly more peasants. Uh, and by the way, you can also see uh, the, uh, the the variables uh, to their capabilities, right? You can see there, the, the, there are stats to these units. There are uh, movement speeds. There are attack stats. There are defense stats. Like... There's more than just, uh, it's just, it's not just numbers versus numbers. There are things to consider uh, alongside the, you know, local weather conditions and stuff like that. Like, there are forests here. So, if we take a look at the peasants, we'll see the plus 10% to base defense from the forests and so on and so forth. Um, general's rhetoric is something that's determined by the general's uh, rhetoric stat. 
helping their units actually perform a bit better. So uh, all kinds of mingling uh, uh, systems in, in place over here. But nonetheless, let's take a look at uh, our numbers. So we have about seven times as many peasants. We have no spearmen. We have a few more archers. We have no infantry. We have twice as many heavy infantry, though. Uh, we have almost twice as many uh, light cavalry, and we have heavy cavalry while they have none. Uh, very strong winds are blowing in this part of the country. What does that do? Strong winds, windy weather, uh, reduces the attacking capability, the attacking strength. So we have to consider that when considering the, uh, the, 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 the numbers as well, right? But nonetheless, we outnumber them rather significantly. I wouldn't mind telling our spy to try and sabotage the uh, defensive wall if there is one. I don't know if there is one, so why don't we infiltrate first? Uh, just to get a full understanding of uh, of what's going on. Hopefully we won't fail, and hopefully we'll be able to see some of these other tabs with regards to the capital. And as we're waiting for that, I suppose we could send some additional troops over to Joan of Arc as well. Um, Anjoulême has quite a few troops it can spare. Let's send all of your units over to lovely Joan of Arc over here. Support the general. Excellent. Separately, we'll start spying over here just to see what's going on to uh, to get aggressive on this side too, so we can maybe at least you know succeed in controlling uh, both of the regions that we need to control. The fall of England will take a, a little bit longer to accomplish, but uh, maybe we can at least control these regions as we're waiting for a response from our spy down south. They have what to say? Well, they haven't been caught, so that's promising. I reached the city of Bayonne, the capital of the Aquitaine region. And I am starting work aimed at infiltrating the local authorities. It should be completed by the 12th of December of this year. So there's some time yet. Let's have time moving a bit more quickly then. And, uh, and I mean, yeah, good things take time. At the same time, what if I were to recruit an additional spy to investigate Burgundy? I just wonder, because we, uh, we have some generals just kind of sitting around looking pretty, not really doing anything. And hang on a second, where is... Oh, there he is. I, I thought uh, Robert maybe got bribed away from us. You know what? You know what? Let's go in blind. Let's go in blind. What is a... Uh, what is a knight if they have no courage? Take over. Go for it. Capture Chaumont for me. And we should probably also capture some taxes. Things are looking kind of tight. I don't like being under 10k. Uh, it does take time as well, again, to actually collect taxes, right? So let's set taxes to low. Let's collect taxes that are available. So Poitiers, that's you. Uh, Doreen, let's go ahead and uh, collect some taxes from you as well. Pause for a moment here as we do all this to make sure we are staying on top of everything. Collect taxes, set taxes to low. Um, and then up over here as well, let's go ahead and collect taxes and set taxes to low. And all the way down south over here. Go ahead and collect and set taxes to low. One month of medium taxes won't uh, won't kill anybody, right? So we should be okay. We should be a okay. Let's go ahead and bring all that money in. It's feeling a lot more comfortable. <laughs> if we go from nine to fourteen k every so often, then that's fine by me. We are well past the October uh, or the December date. <gasps> no. Did we fail our interception or our 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 our, our infiltration? All the taxes being collected. That's a lot of money. Twelve, seventeen, seventeen, forty-two, eleven, sixty-eight. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Uh, I have been detected by the authorities of the Aquitaine region during an infiltration operation carried out in these lands. Unfortunately, prior to my arrest, I was unable to obtain any valuable information. That's a bummer. Maybe we'll dive in there blind as well. What about our battle up over here? Where is our general? Hmm. <gasps> okay, he's left. He, he's no longer a gift. He's, he's, he's left our city and went on a further journey. But where is he right now? Where? Oh, there we go. Current status of his army. Okay. Not what I asked. He's still up here. Did I ask him for a status report? I don't remember asking that. I asked him to attack this glorious region to take it over. Off you go, buddy. Come on. Get some work done. Down over here, you know what? Let's attack as well. Send troops down to take over. Bayon. We should be fine. Down we go. There's the missive heading over. And what is this guy doing? Again, folks, just as a reminder, this is a demo build. There could be some issues here and there, and we might be 
seeing that right now, which would be quite unfortunate. But if we don't see him move by, let's say, the uh, 14th of February, we'll go ahead and maybe send his troops over to uh, the Comtesse up over here and have her attack instead. But, uh, Joan of Arc, how you doing? Uh, she's moving in. That might be the result of this battle. Hopefully we've won it. What do you got for me? Yes! Glorious victory! Let's take a look over here. A seven-page report. Your Excellency, I would like to report on the battle between our forces and the English army of General Margaret Armstrong. The clash was the result of our attempt to take control of the city of Bayonne. I had such and such forces, whereas the enemy gathered forces in the form of such and such. Significantly smaller numbers as far as peasants are concerned, at least. The day we had to fight in the streets, squares, and narrow corners of the unlucky city. The city's defensive potential was significantly increased by the ongoing fortification activities in the region. Oh, interesting. What have you been up to? We still don't really know the current situation. We'd have to ask for a report before we know anything. We don't even know the tax rate right now. We don't know what's in the treasury. We know nothing. So before I actually go ahead with reading that report, let's make sure we get an additional one uh, letting us know what the situation is in this region. But uh, yes, back to this report. Page two. The fog obscured the battlefield, the sun, and the enemy. We could hardly find a hostile formation. I will now present the course of the fights from my perspective, describing the actions taken by me and the responses to those actions on the part of the enemy. Our infantry was ordered to break the enemy's formation and morale by attacking the ranks of infantry. In the fight, though fierce, few enemies died. Bloody and terrible was the enemy's answer. Dead bodies covered the ground in great numbers, while our surviving troops fled in panic. Like locusts, the peasants attacked our peasants. Almost all of our people survived, and we punished them to the last. The knights set off to engage the heavy infantry in a foot fight. The enemy suffered terrible losses. Fortunately, the response of our enemies did not cause great losses. Hardly any of our people died. Accompanied with the roars of drums, the enemy pikemen began to march towards our heavy infantry. Only a handful of our people have fallen victim to the enemies. Fortunately, we managed to beat many of them. My mounted knights, without delaying a moment, advanced on the heavy infantry of the enemy. Not one of our opponents has survived. Here and there, a single man fell, but our ranks remained essentially intact. Enemy cavalrymen in great numbers attacked our light cavalry. Fortunately, not too many of our soldiers died. Almost none of the enemies fell. Our people were not favored by fortune. Our cavalry boldly charged at the enemy infantry again and again. Only a few of the enemies managed to save their lives. Our losses were very small. The enemy archers began shooting at our light cavalry. Our people, surprised by this maneuver, died almost to the last. Ooh, yikes. Our ride hit the enemy archers at a full gallop. Few of the enemy soldiers died. Their formation remained intact. A moderate number of our brave people have died. The enemy light cavalry made an attempt to smash our heavy cavalry. Luckily, our losses were low. The bodies of our enemies covered the ground. The tight ranks of our magnificent heavy infantry moved across the battlefield straight towards the enemy light cavalry. Almost all enemy soldiers died. The opponents managed to achieve little. Equal ranks of the enemy's mercenary pikemen rushed through the battlefield at our light cavalry. Their attack was murderous and precise. None of ours survived. Not many of our enemies have died. The steel-clad heavy infantrymen have been tasked with setting out against the enemy spearmen. None of the enemy soldiers survived in the ranks of my rival's army. Fortunately, the response of our enemies did not cause great losses. Hardly any of our people died. The enemy's infantrymen, full of fortitude, attacked our heavy infantry. Almost all of our people survived. Our people killed them all in a frenzy. I threw my heavy cavalry into a general assault, hoping to break the ranks of the enemy archers. The defeat and massacre of hostile forces was total. Our losses were very small. A concentrated mass of the enemy light cavalry, probably hoping to disperse our ranks, moved at our heavy infantry. Only a handful of our people have fallen victim to the enemies. Not one of our enemies survived, and their banners fell into our hands. The enemy's insidious attacks were of no avail. Nothing he could do to stop our valiant troops. We won. Our army left 62 peasants, 45 infantry, 86 heavy infantry, 162 light cavalry, and 39 heavy cavalry on the battlefield. The enemy commander, Margaret Armstrong, fell in battle along with many of her soldiers. We managed to take control of the city of Bayonne. As a result of the battles, the barracks was damaged. Joan of Arc, General of the French Army. Good stuff. Well done. Well done. All right. And this is a thorough report on which region? Oh no, that's my request for a thorough report. Okay, well done. It took a lot of losses there. Our entire light cavalry contingent was completely wiped. Let's go ahead and uh, have Joan of Arc move up to, uh, let's say, this region over here. 
and uh, we'll maybe provide her with some more troops to deal with our attack over here as buddy over here needs to actually send all of his troops up here otherwise he's been a waste of money that's not what i meant to do let's uh, cancel that missive and send a fresh one no 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 send units all up to this general here send it away hopefully that order actually goes through we'll see what happens because he's been sitting pretty he hasn't done anything he was told to attack here a couple times i think he's bugged out again folks it's a demo build so i'm not too fussed about it but uh, I hope he at least moves his troops over, because otherwise that is a waste of 5,000 gold and a bit of a bummer. Truth be told, a bit of a bummer. Uh, our spy has been taken out as well, so I wonder if we shouldn't recruit an additional one as our economy looks a little tight right now. Why don't we also go ahead and collect some taxes? Again, a few months have passed since we last collected taxes, so it's probably a good idea to, uh, to, 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 to bring that money in. Eh? Collect taxes, please. Thank you very much. Ooh, and here we have Soaked to the Bone. So every once in a while, you'll get a random event based on what's going on in the world. Due to the recent incessant downpours in the Poitiers region, many citizens began to get seriously ill, mostly with flu and runny nose. Without a quick and decisive response, a local plague could break out with dire consequences for the local population. So we could help the sick, or we could say a little rain never hurt anyone, did it? Impacting the population and their uh, happiness, I believe. But no, we will help the sick. It'll cost us a bit of gold, we've got some to spare, and it'll keep people uh, happy because of the support we will uh, provide. So send that over, no problem there, and uh, let's continue to collect taxes as well, because uh, that's what's allowing us to uh, to do things like this, to help the, the, the needy, right? Keep uh, collecting taxes, quite a bit of money has been uh, accumulated, so feeling comfortable about that. Let's go ahead and make sure we're bringing in taxes from down over here as well, collect these taxes. And let's take a look at the situation over here. So very low taxes. Again, this is information we've only collected now that we've asked for a report. So very low taxes. There's some money in the treasury there. And as far as buildings are concerned, they do have a barracks, which allows for the recruitment of spearmen. So why don't we go ahead and uh, demand that they recruit a thousand spearmen while also collecting taxes. Send that missive over. And uh, what's the deal up over here? Did we end up recruiting the troops that we wanted? Uh, where are our heavy infantry. I'm um, trying to remember if I was given a timeline for their recruitment. Because uh, we asked for, what, 5,000? This is certainly not uh, 5,000. I'm just trying to figure out... Maybe we should uh, ask for a status report. Or rather, no, 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 that's not what I meant. For the region. Give me a status report. We'll get both, why not? I don't know if we have a steward appointed there, actually. Get that missive going. Lots of taxes coming through. Conditions of Actane. Sounds good. So Robert no longer has any troops under his command. Does that mean all of those troops are now up over here? Indeed it does. You, then, can uh, attack this region. Something we've been trying to do for so long. Take it over. Let's go. And I wonder if uh, Joan of Arc can perhaps be sent to attack this region. She has quite a few troops still uh, available to her. Um... We should be able to get all of these units added to Joan of Arc's army. Send you over. And uh, and once they arrive, we should be able to, uh, to send Joan of Arc in to take this region. And maybe we'll actually secure Burgundy as well. That'd be quite nice. Now his buddy over here moving. Again, you can tell them to change their pace as well. If they're not moving quickly enough, I can tell them, like, hey, hurry it up. And they'll, uh, they'll pick up the pace, though. That can have... Uh, uh, an impact, I believe, on their uh, their morale and stuff. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, uh, stamina probably is, is what gets hit. And uh, and you want to be careful to make sure everyone's feeling okay when they go into battle. Some decent numbers over here. That's a lot of peasants. <laughs> That's a lot of peasants. Reinforcements have arrived. Again, we have some light cavalry now. And it looks like Buddy here is moving. So let's go ahead and try and do a, uh, uh, a bit of a synchronous move here. Let's attack this region at the same time with Joan of Arc as uh, Buddy up there is attacking the northern region, right? So let's send this missive over and let's see if they can actually pull it off at the same time. I have my doubts, but hey, it's fun to try. It's fun to try. And down over here, have we not collected taxes? Collect taxes, let's go. It's a lot of money in the treasury here. And I do want to take a look at... Ooh, Burgundy is trying to build barracks. Ah, see, now we've intercepted a rather important missive here to the steward of the Haino region. Haino you know, is, uh, is, is where? I'm not familiar enough with, there we go, up over here. So they're trying to build a barracks up over here. 
It is essential to create a place to house our future ranks of spearmen. Uh, that barracks is not going to get built. Those spearmen are not going to become available or be made available. So that's that's cool. I love the interceptions. It's such a cool idea. It's such a cool idea. Uh, let's get rid of some of these red messages because they're starting to really pile up. There's a construction of the church completed. Excellent. Good job, Poitiers. Excellent, excellent. Uh, this Adelaide. Recruitment of a thousand spearmen. City of Bayonne. Uh, Bayonne, Bayonne, Bayonne. Up over here. I guess I need to request an update, or did I already ask for troops to be moved? Uh, I thought I asked for an update already. Hmm. Let's see. Report your status. Let's see what happens over here. Hopefully some taxes will be coming back. We'll see some updates and we'll see some conquests as well. We've seen success up there. Joan of Arc's getting ready to move too. And let's take a look at our missive. So there's the taxes. Aquitaine has now been emptied out because all the taxes have arrived. And there is the status report. Where is the information about our uh, soldiers? Weird. Maybe that's not operating right now as it should, or maybe I'm missing something. I don't want to. I don't want to say it's the game. It might just be me missing something. But we should have a thousand spears uh, with the recruitment that we just uh, completed at the barracks here. The uh, same thing with the, uh, the 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 heavy infantry that I tried to recruit over here at uh, Poitiers. But hey, no such luck. Nonetheless, we are seeing some successes. Joan of Arc is making her way over to here, and up over here, how many losses did we take? A smaller report. This one only four pages, but uh, the battlefield, the enemy's banners are. Ours, the victory was complete. 103 archers and 16 infantry have died. That's all. Wow. That's it. Very well done. Very, very well done. I do wonder if we can't recruit a capable spy and get them to perhaps um, infiltrate Dijon just to see what's going on. I would like to showcase the espionage a bit more. That's all. Joan of Arc, what are you up to? Have you been intercepted or are you... Oh, there's another update coming through. Or perhaps not. That's just a spy arriving, letting us know that they'll be done by the 30th of July. So not too long to actually get a report there. But what is happening to Joan of Arc? Why are you still stationary there? Maybe we should tell you to attack down south instead. Maybe a, a messenger got uh, intercepted. Take over Ascension. I'm pronouncing that right. See what's actually happening. Updates coming through. He's making a move. He's making a move. Come on, buddy. Get in there. And there's some updates coming in from our spy who I think has been unfortunately captured. Where we go? What is going on here? Um, so Contes Adelaide is unable to... Uh, to get to this region. That's interesting. I'm not sure why. Where is... Oh, rebel troops. Hang on a second. Rebel troops where? Under the command of General John Swift. They were swiftly dispatched, it seems. Our ranks crumbled on behalf of the Short City Council. Short. Um, this is a strange missive. I don't see the results of this uh, rebellion anywhere. Everything seems to still be under our control. Strange. Uh, but Burgundy here, we've intercepted a, an attempt at collecting taxes as our own wealth is actually rather poor. Wow, I'm glad I saw that because otherwise I would have missed my own situation. Um, yeah, strange. I, I didn't see this actually happen. Uh, nonetheless, where did R? Yeah, she's been detected. Ah, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Let's go ahead and collect some taxes real quick because uh, we are in a trouble spot. Otherwise, collect taxes. Yes, please. Uh, over here as well. Let's go ahead and... Uh, collect taxes again. There's a lot to stay on top of at any given time. And if you start falling behind, you can go bankrupt, and that's game over. Collect taxes from up over here as well. Fortunately, these guys are pretty close, so it shouldn't take too long for the money to actually arrive in our coffers. Though we do have some more distant lands, uh, by the time their taxes come through, we'll have a bit of a buffer set by the ones that are uh, collected from, from lands closer to us. But yes, collect all these taxes, please and thank you. And I suppose we should uh, attack uh, Burgundy itself, hit, uh, hit Dijon, I mean, specifically. 640, 60, 50, 100, 300, 100. Uh, I don't know. Might be a little rough. But let's try it. Attack to take over Dijon. Let's go for it. It might be obstructing our approach over here, I think. That might be what's going on. 
So if time moved forward, money's coming through. Yeah, looking much better. And would you look at that? Burgundy has been taken. Excellent. So what's the deal over here? Why can't we actually uh, take this? Go on and attack down over here. Take over, please. Thank you. As this battle over here is a 10-page report. We're not going to read the whole thing. That's a huge report. Uh, normally, if I was just playing by myself, I'd read it. But I don't know if you guys are interested in, in, in hearing this whole thing get described. So I'm flipping through all the pages so you can pause and read at your own leisure if you'd like to see how the game reports on these battles. But uh, I just want to see the end report. We place our victory at your feet, Lord. Grateful for God's grace, thanks to which we ultimately succeeded despite so many obstacles. I hasten to inform you that 380 peasants, 213 archers, 58 infantry, 166 heavy infantry, 58 light cavalry, and 55 heavy cavalry have died. Yikes. The commander of the enemy army... Oh, I was reading that. Didn't realize it would close this missive as I opened uh, details on, on Joan of Arc's uh, uh, army there. But the commander of the enemy army, Jean de Marais, is dead. I managed to take his life personally. We managed to take control of the city of Dijon. As a result of the battle, the militia post was damaged. All right, fair enough. Your army is not that much in a pitiful state. It took a lot of losses there, though. That was a that was an expensive, expensive battle. And here, what do we have here? Ah, okay, this is because of the general's troops versus the city itself. And why why can we not attack here? Still confused about that. Still confused about that. But let's go ahead and get a bit of a report from the city, just so we know what's going on over here. And uh, hopefully Joan of Arc will see some success over here finally, and we can actually have full control over the entirety of the Burgundy region, as opposed to uh, just this check mark we're seeing here. There's our report. So this place has a moat. It's got a militia post that's been damaged, and it's got a defensive wall as well. All right, cool, cool, cool. Some money to be collected, but uh, not enough to, to, to rush to just quite yet. And our coffers are actually looking pretty good as uh, we've seen success over here as well. Good stuff, Joan of Arc leading us to victory as uh, seems as though Blois has a bit of a rebellion going down over here and they've actually seen some success. Did I miss that earlier? This is where John Swift has struck. No way I missed that earlier. Let's, uh, you know what? Let's, let's dispatch some swift justice here. Attack with Joan of Arc. Uh, let's take this back, please. And thank you. Take over. Yes, let's go. And uh, let's get our other friend over here moving to uh, attack this region over here. Take it over. Crush the enemy. Let's go. And those missives out. I'm shocked I allowed this to happen. Shocked, I tell you. I'm shocked. Rebellion will be crushed quickly enough. I didn't even realize they were, they were becoming that unhappy, but uh, here we are, right? And the rebellion is spreading. They've taken over some territory over here as well, which is far from ideal. Didn't think we were that harsh on taxes. I should perhaps uh, quicken their pace. Spread is, uh, is, is far from ideal. Hmm. Okay, a little concerning. Hopefully we'll see some success here, though. Oh, no. One of our armies just got completely destroyed. Joan of Arc, come on. Come on, I believe in you, Joan of Arc. I'm a little concerned right now, not gonna lie. <laughs> a lot of reports coming through from, ah, the English incursion. Well, folks, as things turn to chaos, for a moment there, we actually held on to the entirety of Aquitaine and Burgundy. Uh, right now, though, I mean, we still technically control these regions because we hold on to their capitals, though we are seeing some struggles develop as well. The English have arrived once more in the south of France, and this rebellion is right at the heart of France, uh, and it looks like we're struggling to defeat it for the time being. Nonetheless, though, we have hit the hour mark. I do try to keep these showcases about an hour long, and I think this is an excellent place to stop. Hopefully, I was able to highlight the variety of mechanics at play, I was hopefully able to highlight just how differently this grand strategy game plays because it's centered around the idea of communication. Whether you're sending orders to your generals, whether you're trying to figure out if there are taxes to collect or what's actually going on, what needs building, what needs repairing, upgrading, etc, etc. It's all a matter of getting messages out there and getting those responses too and making sure they don't get intercepted while trying to intercept the enemy's communiques as well. I just think it's such a fascinating idea and angle and if you think so too, 
please, again, don't hesitate to add this game to your wishlist. That is a great way to support independent developers and to stay up to date with the game's dev cycle. Beyond that as well, folks, if you enjoyed this video, consider hitting that like button down below. And if you want more fresh strategy, sim, city building, and management style games, you should subscribe to this channel because, again, that is a big part of what I do around here. With all that said, as always, a massive thanks goes out to all of the channel members and patrons who've been supporting the channel on a monthly basis. Y'all keep us alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time. Cheers.